Hi there, Jamie here today. If you're on Google Drive all day and you wanna boost your productivity, try using shortcuts. Today, I wanna to go over 15 of my favorite shortcuts on Google Drive. Some of them are brand new and they are gonna be big time savers. So you might not think that using shortcuts will save you a lot of time, but if you're all day in Google Drive and you're doing a lot of the same things over again and again and again, using shortcuts can save you a tremendous amount of time. Now I'm going to start with the newest ones and these newest ones are ones that you might have always thought were there but they weren't. And it's just as simple as your copying and pasting. And that's using the shortcuts of control C and control V. Now, one thing I want to point out, uh, you can use this with Mac, but you are going to have to use instead of control, you are going to use the command key. So let's start and I'm just going to give you a few of these examples. So like I said, control C, if I go to a folder or file, I can now copy it. If I go to a, a file like this, I can go control C and you can see item copied. So what can I do with this right now? Well, I can do a couple things when I decide how to paste it. So if I go to, let's say this folder here, I could take that file that I just copied and can go control V and you'll see that it's creating a copy of this. So if I just go back here, I'll go back to my drive. You can see it's still here, but it created a copy of this inside videos here. Now I want to show you how you can paste it as a shortcut also. So a shortcut will just link it to that original file. It's not going to create a whole new file like it did in this case. It's going to create a shortcut to it. So all I have to do is use my control shift and V this time and you will notice that this is a shortcut. You can tell uh, by this on the icon here that when I click on this one, it's actually connected to the uh, original file here. It didn't create a copy. Now, while I'm still in this folder, I'm gonna go back to it. I just wanna point out, you can use Control Z as a shortcut. So if I just go Control Z, you can see it will undo my last move. If I go Control Z again, it won't be able to do it. So if you wanna undo your last move, just use the Control Z. So you're not only limited by copying these into different spots inside your Google Drive, you can actually create a document and paste them, your whatever you've copied into those too. So here's an example. If I go to create a new document, uh, but let me show you the shortcut rather than doing it this way. All you have to do is go shift T. And if you hit shift and T together as a shortcut, it opens up a new document. So I have my new document open. If I go to any of these and just go ahead and select it. So I'm going to go and copy this again, control C. And if I go over to this document and I use control V, it will paste that link right into a document. So I could put that into a presentation or any of the different Google uh, ones. It'll take that uh, different that link right into it. A different thing you can do. So if I go, I'm going to copy this again, but I'm not going to go just Control C. I'm going to add Shift in there. I'm going to add. So I'm going to go Control Shift C. And notice now, if I go over here, I'll give a, I'll just give a space and paste it. It will paste the actual link of the document. So if I use this shift, add shift to the control, uh, control C, this is what it's gonna be able to paste when I do this. Now I do wanna point out, you can do this to entire folders too. So if I go back to my drive and I was going to this videos one, I can go control C to this and I can do control V and it will paste a link to that folder too. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out inside this is you can select more than one thing at once. So if I go back to here and I'll just use the same folder, uh, I could go through and select each of these uh, and paste them over. But if I go control A for select all, uh, now I can go control C and I'm just gonna go paste it over here and you can see it did all three. Not only can I just paste it into documents with the multiple ones, I could make copies of these somewhere else too. So if I was gonna go uh, back to my drive and let's say make a new folder and a shortcut to make a new folder, all you have to do is hold down shift and press F and you're gonna get this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make a demo 
folder like this, and you'll see it up top because I put the zero there, and I'm gonna go in there and I can go control V and it's gonna uh, create copies of all those in that folder. So there's uh, multiple copies of these ones. I'm just gonna delete these here by hitting delete. Now, the other thing I wanna point out, and this is more important, if I go back to here, uh, and I'm gonna go to this videos one again and use this video as an example. So let's say I actually want to move this. And now the old way, I'd actually have to right click on this. And I find this is the biggest time saver for me with this new shortcuts. So I could go and move to, and you go through the process of finding where you want this to go, or you could do it within documents uh, where you wanted to move the document. But now you can use control X, control V to do this. So if I was gonna go and uh, just go control X now, on this one, it is cut to the clipboard. Now the difference is when I paste it, it's gonna actually move it from here. So if I go back to my drive and I'll use the demo folder that I just created, I can go control V and it will put it in there. So if I go back to my video folder, you can see it's no longer there. So I actually made a move. This saves me a lot of time here, uh, rather than using the move function that was there. So try that control X, control V to speed your, uh, to speed your efficiency up with Google Drive. So you know when you go ahead and open up a file from your Google Drive and it opens up in the same tab that your Google Drive is open up, I like to open that up in a new tab. So to do this, of the file that I have selected, all I have to do is hold control, then hit enter and then you're going to see it opens it up in a new tab. So that's just that's another shortcut that I like to use. So these next shortcuts aren't new to Google Drive, but they are definitely time saving and will boost your productivity. Now, a lot of times during the day, I'm uploading files from my computer and you could go to new and then file upload like that. And I know it only takes a couple clicks, but if you go ahead and use shift and U together, it will automatically just open up your uh, right to your computer and you can select the file to upload from there. Now, the, uh, some of the other uh, shortcuts I just want to mention are that, so I showed you already with a shift and T to open up a new uh, Google Docs, but you can also open up other uh, apps such as spreadsheets. So if you go shift and S, you will open up a spreadsheet. If you go uh, to shift and P, you're going to open up a Google Slides. If you go to shift and O, you're going to open up a Google Forms. And then if you go shift and D, you're going to open up a Google Drawing. So these are just some of the shortcuts. If you're opening up, opening up any of these documents through the day, and again, each time it's going to save you a few seconds and throughout the day, those seconds turn into minutes. So that can be, these can be some real time savers for you. Another shortcut I use a lot of during the day is just the letter V by itself. So what this does is it toggles back and forth between the grid and the list view. So right now this is in list view. Notice how you see the icons and everything. If I press the letter V, it turns it into this view, the grid view. So I like to do that, especially if I'm dealing with pictures and I press V again, it goes back to my list view. So you can quickly see what you are getting. Now, the other one that I kind of check out on different files, if I, I'll use this one, if I just go and press D, it shows me the details. So a lot of times I want to uh, be checking the details of a certain file. Uh, if I just go and hit the letter D, it will open that up. So just some things I'm constantly during throughout the day and the shortcuts save me some time. Now, the last thing I wanna show you today, the last shortcut is just using the question mark. So uh, if I go and use the question mark on my keyboard, it's gonna be a shortcut to the shortcuts. Now I just showed you around 15 today, but I just wanna show you that there's all these different shortcuts that you can play with. And if you are using them a lot, you are gonna get faster and boost your productivity using Google Drive. So I would really strongly suggest that you practice with, with these and you are gonna notice that you're gonna save yourself some time. And that works with other applications, not only Google Drive, but whatever you're working with, try to learn the shortcuts 
shortcuts because it is a time saver. So I hope you like this tip on the shortcuts for Google Drive, especially these new ones like the Control X, Control V, because I do think that's a big time saver in Google Drive. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite one down below in the description? Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.